Greetings, everyone, and welcome to our today's session. My name is Orwa Joseph, a senior trainer with Africa 118 for Google Digital Skills Program. We are coming to you live from Dar es Salaam, Tanzania. Together with me is a team of colleagues that we will be working in coordination to ensure that we get the very best out of our session today. I know we have SMEs joining us from Rwanda, others are joining us from Kenya, and others are joining us from Tanzania. I want to invite my colleague to say hi just before we jump into our discussion of today. It's going to be a, a nice time for you to learn on how to build your brand and sell online. We are going to bring some aspect of practicals in this particular session. So we invite you to feel free to interact with us at the chat box, introduce yourself, let's know where you are joining us from, and some of your expectations from today's session. So for them that are joining us from Tanzania, we have our colleague Margaret on the call. And uh, let's welcome Margaret to say hi and welcome the Tanzanian team and SMEs to our session today. Greetings, everyone. Karibuni sana katika session yetu ya leo ya build your brand and sell online. Tujifunze, tuulize maswali, tu interact na wanzetu wa Kenya na Rwanda. Karibuni sana. Na, yeah. Okay, great. Thank you so much, Margaret. Uh, we have our team members uh, joining us from Rwanda. And um, uh, when we get time, we shall have them in, um, uh, introduce themselves. So if we have any SMEs from Rwanda, please just say hi in Kenya Rwanda down the chat box there. Let's get to say hi in Kenya Rwanda. It will be great to learn hi in Kenya Rwanda. From Tanzania, we tell you Karibu Sana. From Kenya, we tell you Bado Karibu Sana all. Welcome all. And uh, uh, feel free today to uh, just join us. Uh, we are going to have a humble time to learn together. Uh, my lead uh, moderator is Orono Pias at the chat box. So let's just do some quick checks on how we are going to manage our session of today. So if you're using your mobile phone, just below your mobile device, there are place written top chat. That is the place where we are going to uh, share with you a point of communication to us. If you have any question, comment, or anything that you want to share with us, feel free to put it down at the chat box. We will ensure and that we address every questions as they come. And also, uh, if you're using a, a laptop or a PC, just write on the right-hand side of the screen that is a place you can communicate to us. I can see greater people that have joined us today. Even as we prepare to build our brand and sell online, I can see great conversation coming and rolling out. Uh, Samoy Otieno was the first one to come. Hi, Samoy Otieno. Great, thanks for uh, getting that this is important and for coming to our session of today. Uh, Binuil Natural, hi, I'm glad you are here. Home Shop Enterprises Limited, Michael Biambo joining from Mombasa. Great, how is Mombasa doing? Is it hot? Is it cold? Feel free to share with us the weather of Mombasa. And also you can tell us the aspect of businesses, how are business going on in Mombasa? What is selling more today? Let's get to know what's going on in Mombasa and uh, in business-wise. So I can see Pauline Shiru, Anes Hub joining from Kisumu, Kenya. Thanks, Pauline Shiru, for joining. Abaria Kisumu Dala. Great to have you in our conversation today. Wasukiara from Naivasha, great to have you. Any Selix from Tanzania, hi. Evi, you're Abelin again. Karibu sana, Sante. Semgania Tanzania, unongana na sikutoka. We have Philip Lulale from Morogoro. Hi, Filippo. How are you doing today? It's great to have you. Awa Sindika, oh, I never knew Awa Sindika will be here. Great, Awa Sindika, feel welcome to the session of today. We have Jacqueline Otoro. Hi, Jacqueline from Nairobi. We are glad to have you in our session today. And great, we have Kendi from Visa class. People are joining. So keep on uh, joining, introduce yourself. Let's know where you're joining us from. And uh, before I just dive deeper into the session, 
uh, I want to uh, welcome my colleague John. John to say hi to us, at least to welcome the Kenyan market. So John, if you're there, please get ready to say hi to the people here. They want to say hi to you, John. Welcome, John. Say hi to uh, welcome the Kenyan market and uh, let them feel at home. Hi, John. All right. Okay, John is still having some challenges with the audio, but when he fixes that, we will be ready to, uh, to kick start and continue. So just feel free uh, to introduce yourself, feel free to let us know where you're joining us from. Uh, it's going to be a great way of uh, having a conversation together. Every time and again, we will be pausing and to be able to uh, take some, uh, some feedback from you, address your questions to be able to move together so if you are joining us now feel free to introduce yourself at the chat box uh, my moderators will be sharing you attendance list so feel free to register it takes less than a minute just to register in that particular form this help us know who attended um, and uh, who have not attended for us to be able to plan the future sessions and future training so let's proceed uh, our main discussion of today is build your brand and sell online. So in our discussion, we will be having three main agendas. And the first agenda will be establish your brand online. The second agenda will be develop your e-commerce offering. And in the third agenda, we will be looking at uh, uh, how to utilize social media to drive sales. So wherever you are, uh, these are going to be uh, what, uh, the main three main agendas that we will be actually uh, uh, having a look at. So feel free to to uh, share the link with your other trainers that have uh, other participants that have not joined. Tell them that uh, we are live, we are learning together, we are moving on, and things are rolling out. So uh, just us before we jump into our first agenda great i have something for you have you ever known have you ever learned that google has set up a great mentee program that can actually uh, help you uh, grow your business we have a free one-to-one -one mentorship available from google so our trainer is going to share this link with you you can sign up for that particular uh, mentorship program and then you can actually uh, get, be mentored get a person who can handle your questions and uh, help you grow your business online so if you have never imagined to get assistance from any other person now you can you uh, do it online a new program that uh, has been sponsored by google you can just sign up for mentorship program get to be led get to be mentored get to uh, assistance in how you can grow your business online connect with your customers sell more make profit grow your economy and live happy right and live happily great so my moderator is sharing that link at the chat box and we'll be able to proceed even as we move forward great so before we do anything my question to us have you currently market your business if you are you are in business so how do you currently market your business how do you make people know that your business exists feel free to let us know at the chat box i will be taking uh, some a uh, few time to go and look at your feedback and uh, question um that maybe you have addressed but before i looked at your feedbacks and before we just dive into our next agenda i want to bring us quickly to uh, a scenario here last month we did train ourselves on google my business it was just last month i believe most of majority of us attended that particular session and we will be glad to get to know from you how google my business have been working for you because that is one of the way that you can build your presence online and be able to sell so before uh, we proceed into getting your responses and looking at them, I want just to share a video here of somebody who is using 
Google My Business and how uh, Google My Business has helped them grow online. So uh, I just want to share with you a simple video here. Great, so let me see. Great, great, great. Right, let me know if you can be able to see my screen. Wonderful, I know. I believe you can be able to see it. So let's try to see if you can actually watch this video about business, Google My Business, just for you to get something about Google My Business. Great. Sorry, guys. Um, uh, we have uh, had a clip on the sound, and people are asking. Sound was not very much clear on our end. So we will be sharing this link on, uh, on our chat box down there so that you may be able to actually follow up later. So we are going to share this particular link on our chat box down there. So um, we have just shared the link with us. I have a challenge with the sharing of the audio. So when you have time, you can look at that particular link. Sorry for the sound each. We are trying our best so that we fix it in a, when we will be sharing our next videos. But actually, uh, that when you look at that particular video, they are sharing um, the goodness of Google My Business. And uh, this was just a session we did last month with us. And we believe that each and every person that is attending this particular session did actually sign up for Google My Business. If you don't have it already set up for your business, please feel free to reach out to your digital account executives so that they may be able to help you to set it up. So let's proceed here. And we are going to look at how do you currently market your business. Let's look at the questions, that, the answers that are coming in. Great. How do you currently market your business? Oh, sorry, sorry, guys. There was no sound in that. We'll uh, try to fix it. And if time allows us, towards the end, we'll be able to share the video again. So how do you currently like uh, market your business? Yes, you have a business outside there. And uh, how do you reach out to people and to let them know that you're selling something? Feel free to let us know at the chat box. Let's learn together, all right? Some people are selling it by like, oh, walking around and saying, mind the choma, mind the choma, or nyama choma. Some people walk around and say, blouses here, a word of mouth. What about your case? What are you doing to market your business? What do you do actually to make people know that you exist? All right. Great, great. So uh, let's proceed and see. Uh, um, some of the ways that actually you can actually market your business. 
and uh, the, we have several ways that you can actually market your business. We have um, people using uh, Google AdWords to market their business. Other people will be using social media. Other people will be using a word of mouth. And other people could be using banners and billboards. There are so many ways that people do use to actually market your business. So let's jump into our first agenda, how to establish your online brand. Even as we wait for your participation um, in getting the answers, how have you been like uh, marketing your business? How have you been marketing your business? So uh, and as we jump into our first agenda, we are going to look at ways in which you can benefit from going online. Going to establish our brand online, but why should we have an online presence? What are the benefits that are coming with going online? In our previous uh, trainings in last month, we did share with you how you can use Google My Business to go online to increase visibility, to attract customers, to find a way in communicating with other customers. So, from your end, what are some of the benefits you think are brought by? you going online what can we celebrate that hey these are some of the benefits to my business for having gone online feel free to share that at the chat box there so that uh, we get to learn from you all right great so i can see uh Rolo is giving us the concern ah home shop enterprises limited is using flyers so home shop enterprises for how long have you used the flyers how effective are they? And um, how did you uh, do measure uh, uh, the outcome of our flyers? Feel free to let us know. Lisa Wall says, Facebook, WhatsApp, and word of mouth. Thanks very much, Lida, for sharing Facebook and WhatsApp. Go ahead and share with us how has been Facebook working for you? How has been WhatsApp working for you? And how has been the word of mouth working for you? In, in, in various ways that you have been actually uh, selling your, uh, 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 marketing your business, like telling people that you exist. How has it been working? So business billiards, all right, social media posts and promotion. Great. Thanks, Bulagi Belias, for sharing that with us. So how has that one benefit your business, right? You have been telling people about what you sell in social media posts and other, other means. So let us know how it has actually helped you, the feelings, the outcomes, and uh, how has the outcome been using social media, promotion, ah, there are great words here. Some people say promotions. So Bulagi Belias, when you say promotion, exactly what do you refer to that? Uh, I'm, I'm having a feeling like I need to know something about promotion that you've been doing. So feel free to let me know from my end here. And I can see great investment power consultants from Nairobi. Welcome. Word of mouth, e flyers, and social media. Mama Nations, did you mention e flyers and social media? What exactly is e flyers? Because somebody mentioned flyers. You have just added something e flyers. What exactly is that? Mama Nation, we will be waiting for you to share with us something around e flyers. Today is a home of learning. We have to learn something. Or task do can say flyers and banners in Facebook, Instagram, and now Google My Business. Oh, TMS Duca, I'm glad that you are now on Google My Business. And I wish you should be our next case study. So always feel free to share with us how Google My Business, which you have just come in now, is helping you over there. So keep your thoughts coming, keep your answers coming. And uh, now we are looking at some of the benefits that have been brought by you going online. What kind of benefits comes with this great let to share with us at the chat box and as we proceed with our main content so we have several business benefits that comes with people going online as i wait for your answers that are yet to come and which we are going to share ideas from my end and your end too let's have now look at uh, uh some of the reasons why people are going online so from my research that was carried out by internet business statistics from statisticas reveals that 1.7 billion people bought goods and services online last year uh, up from 1.66 the previous year with this particular kind of data 
It's a clear indication that people are actually going online and they are not going online only to learn about a product and know that a product exists, but they have gone online and stayed online to the extent now they are buying products online. So if 1.7 billion people actually went online to buy a product, these could have been one of your customers. And therefore, there is a call for you to establish an online presence that enable people actually to buy from you. And that's why today we are learning how to build your brand and also sell online. And then 97% of people learn about the business online than anywhere else. I know we are coming from diverse regions uh, in which uh, um, the setup and uh, technology advancement uh, differs from one area to another. Internet penetration also differs from one area to another. But this remains a fact that 97% of people who learn about a business, uh, uh, if you put together 100 people who know about some business, know about a particular business, then 97 of those people did learn about that particular business online. So if you don't have an online presence, you are likely going to only be not noticed by 3% of the people. That is quite crazy and not good for your business as a business person. And it is estimated that by the year 2040, 95% of purchases will be through e-commerce. When we did mention this, sometimes back I was in Mombasa and we are having a discussion with some friends and we are uh, diving deeper into technology. And we did tell them, do you see this Mamamboga selling vegetables along the Akibandas? A time comes when you will have to pay for these particular commodities, maybe through M-Pesa. And funny enough, you will have to order them maybe online. And the people like, well, mm, Mamamboga, where? Today, and especially escalated by the pandemic, majority of people are now even ordering their vegetables online. If vegetables are being ordered online, meaning they have an online presence, that means we are close to 95% of people buying things online. And with the so many things that are happening around the globe, this one could be even 100% of people who are buying things or to be give it a, a reservative number 99%. All right. So let's go deeper and look at some of the reasons why people go or use the internet. All right. So internet penetration has been great in sub-Saharan Africa with every time and again, you will find new packages are introduced in the market. So how can you use the internet? You can use the internet to sell your product or buy a product. You can use the internet to advertise you can use the internet to reach out to new customers. You can as well use the internet to do some research on competitions. Have you ever used the internet before in your business? If whatever the case you use the internet for is different from selling products, buying products, advertising, or do some uh, reaching out to your new customers or doing some research on competition, Feel free to share that at the chat box. What exactly did you use the internet for in your business? Had I used the internet for communication? Maybe we have not listed that one here. Yes, but you can use it for business to facilitate your communication, all right? Within your, you as a business and your customers. Any other that is not listed here, feel free to share that at the chat box. Let me tell you, long, 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 long time ago when I was young, I went to a bank and I was lining up. It took all right three hours lining up. And I was lining up to go and just take a form to be processed, a loan form to be processed. Three good hours. I lined up, get to the counter, it was lunchtime, and the guy for, uh, receiving the forms had gone away. I had to go home because I traveled to the bank, it was a distance, so I had to start early to get home early. I woke up the following day and went up, lined up, find the same line, queuing zigzag lines. When I went there, again, it was a line, 
But lucky enough, that day I was served. My loan form was picked. But something was bothering me. Could you have a system in which we can apply for loans online? Could we have any other way that we can do this? Friend, people who experienced the problem I had came up with so many other solutions called the Tala, called the Water View, to give people loan easily because the banks were not learning. It was just recently when banks realized, hey, we are losing on loans. No one is ever coming for loans because people have found other means of getting up loans. Now, for you as a business, if so many people are buying online and you don't provide people that are online a way for them to buy from you, they will buy from the next person. So before we sit down to discuss how you can go online, today is your day to start building your presence and sell online. Let's move forward and look at how you can build your online presence. All right? Now we're looking at how you can build your online presence. So in this particular digital age, it's very important for you to have an online presence. It doesn't matter even if you do your businesses and like construction, you cannot construct things online. It could be maybe transport, you cannot transport things online, but your customer will wish to do communicate with you and have some processes done online. So if you actually don't be online, you will be missing a lot of some of the potential clients that would wish to connect with you. Tell me of a business that does not need an online presence. Sometimes back, I was doing a presentation to pastors and they did tell me, hey, it's good to go online, but how can we conduct our services online? It was very hard to crack the nut and let them know how you can do your services online. But when the, can the pandemic came, I was called back to give an overview and steps that they can use to go online. Without mentioning the names of churches and pastors, today, them that I spoke to some several years back had to go online. And that one is going to remain for a very long time and it shall be permanent. I'm not rubber stamping it, but we are here to feel it together, even as we digest and consume the digital platforms. So we have examples here of some business called Inveli Design and Juma Tours. So Inveli Design uses Google My Business, their online, and Juma at Tours uses Wix to create their own presence. So when you go online and search for Inveli Designs, you find it online. And when you go to Google Juma at Tours, you get it online. So it is quite essential for you to have an online presence. And to them, that are joining us courtesy of digital launchpad this is the call we have this is the push this is our motivation for all of our businesses to have professional online presence so that they may be able to connect with their customers locally and also internationally great people so let's take it over to look at types and different platforms that are available that can allow you go online some of the platforms you can use to go online. One, you can have your own website. Just to let you know, all the tab join the digital launchpad programs, sponsored program, and um, being executed in various markets, you will have your own website. So a website is a professional way of going online. It gives you an ample time to let people know who you are, what you do, and uh, how they can get your offers or your product delivered to them. So you can use your own website to have an online presence. You can use social media platform. These are interactive platform accessible to large varying audience. In social media platforms, it depends with who your audience are. So this is one of the way that you need to go online. So if at all, or maybe your business is still growing at a very younger stage, Social media presence is free to have a social media platform. And another platform that you can be online is online uh, uh, directories. 
So online directory of online business directory is just a list of businesses and their contact printed or uh, they actually listed online so that when people are able to search, they are found. If we talk about online directories, it is um, this one was birthed from the Yellow Pages book. Can you remember that? Sometimes back when you go to these offices, you are able to find big yellow printed books. And if you wanted to look for a contact from it, you could always turn up the pages following the names in alphabetical order. So by doing that one, you are able to check the business. It is listed there. Find their contact and even location. And you can even call them or write an email to them. That particular version is now available online. And we have several online directory that we will be touching in a little more when we proceed in our later slides. Great. So we have another platform that you can actually use, e-commerce platform. So when we mention e-commerce platform, this is just an online shop that allows you to present your product with your photos, their description, and their prices, and gives a way to these business people to be able to buy and uh, you deliver the product to them. Great. So let's proceed and see um, uh, and see uh, 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 some statistics that will actually uh, make us understand the reason why actually we should go online. So if you aren't already convinced that having an online presence is going to benefit your business, these statistics should make you believe this, all right? right. They should actually open up your eyes. So we have 4 million internet users in Africa. This is second to China. 4 million internet users. And Africa makes up 10% of global retail sales with an estimated value of 75 million by 2025. All right, we are in 2021. 2025 is just knocking and all. So you will find that a lot of people are buying online. You could sit down and say, okay, I'm happy. I'm contented with the kind of customers that come to my shop. They knock. I sell them this particular product. It is good. And we're not telling you that that is a bad way of doing business. But we're just telling you, in addition to that, you can have an e-commerce from where you can sell your products online. Great. So let's have a look at uh, e-commerce platforms that are available. So an e-commerce platform allows online businesses to match their website, marketing, sales, and operations in one place. So e-commerce platforms are the backbone of online retail enterprises, allowing you as a business present your product in a friendlier way to your customers while managing the back end where you can see sales, you can see all your products ordered, you have an option of uh, uploading more products, and also you have an option of uh, closing or uh, 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 doing away with a product that maybe you are not stocking for one reason or another. Several e-commerce platforms exist. This include Amazon. Have you ever heard of Amazon? So Amazon, as well as being an online retailer, Amazon allows for individual and business to sell and display their products online. So Amazon, has become the largest online e-commerce retailer and one of the most powerful brands in the world. So if you had Amazon, you can actually go to Amazon and create an account and be able to sell your products on Amazon. Having certified the condition that differs from one country to another, so you need actually to, to know that it is possible to sell your product on Amazon. We have some other e-commerce platforms that we know Conga in Nigeria, for people joining us from Nigeria, and is now expanding to other markets. We have other um, uh, e-commerce platforms like Jumia that allows people to buy a product like cell phones, shoes, and groceries online. These are just examples that uh, we, we, we have to mention for the sake of this, but there are a lot more outside there. For the people joining us in Tanzania, you can be mentioning of Kiku, the people joining us from Rwanda, please feel free to let us know the greatest e-commerce platform used in Rwanda. And them that are joining us from Kenya, 
I don't know which one is now the leading because they keep on changing. But I believe Jumia is the mother of one of them there. Although we also have others coming up like Kilimall, right? So these are just few examples of e-commerce platform. I'm repeating this for the sake of us. And the one reason why we are in this particular session today, building your brand and be able to sell online. Remember, having set things right, you will be sleeping while people are ordering for products. And when you wake up, you receive your orders and find ways on how to take them to the people that have ordered them. So if you are ready for selling more, please go online. E-commerce will help you. Great. So let's check on how you can sell on your product on, online in marketplaces. Sometimes you find maybe e-commerce platforms owning one for your business is a challenge and maybe setting up for your business is a challenge. One of the places you can use actually to sell your product is online marketplaces. So you could set up an account on online marketplaces. An example of this is Kilimall, uh, um, uh, dominantly used in Kenya. All right, we have uh, also Bidobai that is being used in South Africa. We have Gigi. Gigi is, uh, was largely used in Nigeria, but now Gigi is in parts of Tanzania and Gigi also in Kenya. Right, so marketplaces are also a good place for you to sell your product. They were designed to imitate the kind of marketplaces that we used to have that on a particular day of the week or after month, if you are in Tanzania, do you remember the Mnada, the people that are coming from uh, Mikoani, you remember the Mnada? So we have Mnada every, um, twice in a month, there is a Mnada somewhere. So people could take their product, cattle, people could take their farm produce, people take everything there and people uh, and, uh, come together to either sell or buy. So the idea of, idea of marketplaces on the local physical uh, presentation has been designed online within system. So today you can wake up and go and sell your second hand phone online. Today you can wake up and uh, sell your product. In Tanzania, I've been walking around these particular towns, especially in Dar es Salaam. We have uh, several, several uh, small industries that are manufacturing various products and they're good, they're of good quality. The only thing you need to do, have an online presence, talk about them, let people know that we have them in Tanzania. And then the Rwandese can come and order the product from us and we sell to them. Kenyan can also order from us and we sell to them. We have a Sally coming from Tanzania. It's a nice one. One day I, I, I bought some and uh, when on my way traveling, I went to Kenya and when uh, I passed by a friend and you know, you are tired and the friend was like, okay, what is there? That is that. I say, oh, this is honey. Okay, can I have a taste? Do you know what? The friend actually paid me three times the price of that particular honey because they said it's of good quality. But how will they know if you don't go online? How will they know if you don't present yourself online there so that when people are searching for quality honey, they get it from you, All right? So this is one of the places that you can actually register your business and sell online, online marketplaces, great. So we have also be, uh, online business directories. So with online business directories, you only go, uh, it's, a big, it's a website, something like a website. And uh, allow me to just uh, show you an example here. Uh, like we have an online directory in Tanzania. It will give you an example of yellow pages of Tanzania for them that are coming from Tanzania. Let me just share with you something here, yellow pages of Tanzania. All right, online business places. So after this particular session, I'm sure each and every uh, business will be having uh, listed online. So we have business, online business uh, 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 directories. This is one of them. So what do I want to do? I can come here to search for businesses. Let me search for one of the businesses in Tanzania. I saw Hawasilika. Hawasilika. Hawasilika here. Right? Oh, what's the is not here. So which one is here? All right, BJS, BJS, journeys. Right? Great. This is an example of a business who actually is listed in this particular business directory. So they have a presence. I can
can call them. I can send them an email. I know where they are. Look at that. Great, great. So let's look at a, another business directory, infomobile.com. Right? This is just another example of online business directory. Yeah, so I can actually register my business. Get started. Right? Having a challenge with that. So let's try with the yellow if I can get started directly. Call higher restaurants, get noticed. Get listed today. I click there. Oh, this is working. Yes, can get listed today. I enter my business name, test.com. Can fill all this particular information. And when I've done and filled everything and do my submission, there will be behind the scene checkups, sending emails for confirmation. And then I come as one of the BJS attorneys that have been registered in this particular platform. Look at that. Simple. So you don't have a reason to not having an online presence. You actually don't have a reason for you not having an online presence. You can use online business directories, right? Let's get back and uh, to our main slides and see slides. Great. So one of them is yellow pages of Africa and Africa business pages. Just as I've shown you, it is easy for you to set up an account, all right? So the steps are, are very easy for you to get, uh, get registered. You can try this one out. My moderator will be able maybe to share this link with you at the chat box there. So you can be able to like um, try it out at your free time. At your free time, I will be sharing that link with you there at your free time. You can try out to register your business online and let it have a presence online, list your business. So when people are searching for you, they get you. They get you, all right? So actually, you know, businesses are solving problems in the community. So to help customers find you is a great way to solve those particular problems. So if you are a, sol a problem solver and you are not in a position to let us know the problems you are solving, it will be hurting. Great. So, so we have mentioned ways of going online. Uh, you can use a website. We have also uh, mentioned e-commerce platforms. We have mentioned uh, uh, marketplaces. And uh, we have also mentioned uh, business directories and the other form that you can actually use to go online is using your social media. All right, social media platforms. We have several, all right? So this is a great way for you to connect with your customers online. With the right marketing plan, you can use social media platforms create successful campaigns and increase sales, brand recognition, customer service, and also um, loyalty. You know? Setting up business social media accounts varies across different platforms, but the steps are always very similar. They start with signing up, adding pictures, create username, and add your business details. So any business that in, uh, are in the digital launchpad program, I believe your digital account uh, managers have always reached out to you for you to be able to create a great social media platform. Please, if you don't have one, try to uh, um, have a discussion around which kind of social media platform will work for you and for your customers. Because people do search for your business online. They search for you on Twitter, they search for you on Instagram. They search for you on Facebook. They search for you on Google. They search for you on YouTube. So try to have an online presence that helps people connect with you and allow you to communicate your services in a great, flexible way and be able to make customers buy from you. I want to post now to get some uh, questions from us before we jump into how you can actually come up with a great e-commerce. Right, let me check if you have some questions coming third. Great people, I can see a lot of conversations going on here. Great, 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 great. Let me know if there was a good morning, Mr. Davis, coaching from Nairobi. Great, thanks. 
I'm looking if we have a question that have been brought to our attention. Or on a pious field, let me know if you have a question that I really need to address. Okay. All right, Benson Waweru. Great. Kiambo Kisumu. Oh, John Fresh Farm from Kisumu. Joyce Fresh Farm. All right, thanks. Joining us from Kisumu. When I visit Kisumu, I will use Google to search Joyce Fresh Farm in Kisumu. I might win a, a big tilapia from the lake. So thanks that happy you joined us. All right. And Tony, thanks, Duka, right? Bill, CEO, Yaja, Breaking Services. Toka Singida, Tanzania. Great people of Singida, Tanzania. All right, when, when I visit Tanzania in Singida, I will be looking for Mafuta Yahalizeti. So are you maybe producing one? Let me know when I visit Singida, I will actually do that. Look for you, but you are doing beekeeping from Singida. Do you have an online presence? Can we search for uh, Busagi or oh, Uwaja Beekeeping Services? Uwaja Beekeeping Services from Singida. I'm coming for those Anis. I'm coming for them. Don't worry. I'm coming for them. Ensure you are online. Ensure when I search for you, I get you. Thanks, guys, for coming. Great people. Listening, Mimi, Africana. Great. I can see. Great conversation going on, Frank Salila. And, um, right, I'm just going through to see if we have any question that I need to address. Good people, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Right, so Rono, you will let me know if you have any other question that I need to address. I'll be just John, would you mind sending a link to start up I catch up? So Ethan Tronics, thanks for joining. It's great. Uh, we have not covered so much. We now getting in them. But uh, we will try to um, uh, have other sessions that will help you actually interact with us if you anything that you have missed. So uh, stay put, uh, relax, a lot of in store for us. So let's jump into our second segment, bam, bam, developing your e-commerce offering. Developing your e-commerce offering. Quit. So. <clears throat> I'm going to take you through the steps that you need to do while you want to create an e-commerce platform. The first one, you need to pick up a domain, just as any other website. Courtesy of Digital Launchpad, a program sponsored by NORAD and executed by Africa on an aid, all the SMEs participating in that particular program are going to be created a website. The first thing you need to know while coming up with a great website, you need to pick a domain. When we say a domain, this is a unique name that will represent you while you are online. At any given moment, when you put on your browser, google.com, you will always go to google.com and not Instagram. Why? Because that is a unique name. For our businesses, we need also to pick a domain that is closely related to what we are selling. Let us not be like selling furniture and the domain name is Hotels in Da. So starting with a great domain name is a way for you, a great a way for you to build a competitive online presence. Remember, while buying a domain, make sure that the domain name that you are actually using is short, memorable, and resonate with what you are doing. So we have several places that you can actually buy your domain. We have African domain, we have Google domain, among others. So have you ever picked domain for your business? Because everybody that is here is going to have a, a, a in digital launch, but they are going to have like a, a, a website. So do you have a domain? Do you have a domain? That is a question. If you don't have one, make sure that after this particular session today, you will be communicating to your various digital account um, executives that my domain name, I want it to read this. It could be a .com, it could be a .net, it could be a .org, it could be an international domain or local domain that have our country's extension, like .co.tz, .co.k, or wonder is dot, dot co dot RW, great. So first thing, pick up your domain. 
So where can you buy your domain? There are several places that you can buy your domain. We have GoDaddy, we have Domain King, we have Bluehost. So where to secure your domain differs depending on what exactly you want to achieve and based on the features that those particular domain has. I will be uh, practically showing you using uwis.com how to buy a domain as we proceed. The next stage, you need to build up your website. So building a website used to be, require learning how to code. But today, we have website builders that has actually facilitated the process of building up your website. I will also be showing you how you can build a website from templates and make changes to few items here and there and have your website ready for you. Great. So uh, when you decide to pick on a template, ensure you pick a template that is closer to what exactly you want to build your website from. So web, website builders make it easy for users to make their own website with little effort of coding skills. I will tell you, I'll show you practically how to do this as we uh, proceed. In the next stage, how to utilize the templates. Once you picked up a builder that you want to use, we have several builders that are outside there. You can name WordPress. You can mention Wix. You can mention Joomla. We can mention Camellio. We can mention name any other that you know. So once you get to that particular builder, you, there are several templates that are available for you to pick. You can navigate through those particular builders, pick up a template that is close to what you're doing, and also tweak it, change colors, change images, and the text here and there. So once you pick up a template, you are good to go. The next thing that you need to do now is upload your content. So digital content refers to the text, images, and every other thing that you want your customer to see while they visit your website. Make them quite in order, arrange them in a pattern that has logical meaning to any person that visits your particular website. So let us show you some tip tops in creating your content. Right? So while you actually come up with your content, let your content uh, um, have your customer at heart. What do they want to see? I always give an example of a friend of mine that was selling movies in Mombasa, Kenya. So while I was from there, I visited the friend. When I was in the store, the guy, the friend liked horror movies. So the store was full of horror movies. But ideally, most of their customers never liked the horror movies. So he ended up receiving customers and they will ask him of the name of other movies. This guy will insist of that he stocks horror movies. It took around three months and the guy now become his own customer because he could he stocked what is the one that is able to consume. Ideally, the thing of trying to communicate to us that your content should resonate with your customers, prioritize on your audience, frame your website in a way that focuses on how your product or services will help solve customers' problems and make their lives easier. You can also research on your competitors. Why? When you research your competitors, you will actually know what, how exactly your website should look like. Because a website for tour industry is quite different from a website in agriculture. You'll find that the content used in tour, uh, uh, from tour with tour operators website, the, the look of uh, itineraries, uh, packages like five days, six days, journey to Mount Kilimanjaro, journey to Rwanda, journey to somewhere, uh, yeah? But when you look at agribusiness, you'll find that the content is quite different. They're talking about organic products, they're talking about health issues, they're talking about solving uh, some problem, vitamins, and close to that. So ensure that you, you research on your competitors and see what exactly they do. Another thing, Learn search engine optimization basics. So 
And when we mention search engine optimization basics, is understanding exactly what your target audience want and how they do the searches online when they want that particular thing that they want. For example, if the thing that they want, give me a second, all right, is this particular book. You're selling books and your participant wants to buy books from you. So what kind of books do they want? They want motivational books, they want business related books, or maybe they want or like um, technological related books. So when you are selling technological based or related books, how you describe them should resonate with what the clients will be searching. For example, in technology, they could be searching for network optimization kind of thing. Okay, fine. Let me not use the technical terms here. Let me come home and use agribusiness. You are, you are a farmer. If you are a farmer and you are uh, selling tomatoes, uh, skuma wiki or vegetables, you are uh, selling onions, right? That kind of terms that people use to search for things related to farming. It could be fresh vegetable, fresh onion, organic, something close to that. So when you are describing your product, you need to put those particular keywords in your description so that people, while they search for you, they find you. So did that one get home? Great. So let's proceed and look at how you can go beyond with e-commerce plugins. Right. So having created your website, you are now turning your particular website into an e-commerce, right? Turning your website into an e-commerce. Why should you do this? So that you will be able to sell online. So e-commerce plugins are available for you and they have several benefits. The first thing, you can create promotional discount code tools. Have you ever found in a website showing that promoted products it was $2, now it's $1.5 with the $2 crossed. That is the power of e-commerce plugin. We have easy to use checkout. Like once you buy the product, you are able to check out, click checkout and you go away to uh, into another segment of the website where you can pay through various payment options. And then you are able to learn search engine optimization with e-commerce plugins, it gives, it gives you suggestion on some of the words that are being used in the industry that actually your business is in. And then we have email marketing integrations. So with email marketing integrations, here is a situation because before the people check out, they are always providing some information, could be email address, and some financial maybe card details. So you can actually use those particular email address based on what the customer bought to actually do email marketing. And then we have multiple payment options. We have multiple payment options. So you can include pay with Visa card, pay with um, PayPal, pay with MasterCard, Lipan and Pesa, and et cetera. As I promised you that I will be doing a presentation for you to actually get this one clearly from creating a website to coming up with e-commerce in the next few minutes. And I want you just to loading my builder here that we're using today. I will be using one of the builder called Camellio. And uh, I will be showing you how you can actually first create a website and also how you can actually build your website and uh, turn it into an e-commerce um, uh, in very few steps and see the benefit that comes with it. So allow me just to share with you in a while. Give me a second. I want to share with you something here. Great. Right. Great, so um, I'm using the Camellio Builder, and here I have a client called uh, Lulu Pears. So Lulu Pears, this is a builder. Once I created an account, I come to that particular account, 
and uh, this uh, come to site. So I have created one of the websites here, but suppose I want to create a new site from this builder, I will create a new website. There is a smart options, then there is site builders. I want to use site builders and use templates because that is what we have just discussed using the templates. Then the templates will be loading and I will be able to pick on exact template that I want to use. All right, let's give it a moment and see how the templates are, are, are loading. All right, let's give it a couple of minutes, see if we shall have it loaded. Quite, quite. My templates are here. So, and now maybe a little appearance, I want to, maybe to say it is in a tour. So we have some templates here in tour, and I want to pick this one, for example, and preview it. So this is how templates makes it easy for you to create a website. So this is a template that is here, and actually with information ready, you see this template for tour. We have the packages there. I cannot just go and actually modify those particular aspect of those particular template. If I'm sure that this one serves the purpose, why of what I want to achieve, I just go to create. And then the builder is creating the website for me. Great, look at that. Let's see what's coming. Oh, great. Your site has been created. So let's go to edit now. All right. So I'm opening it into the edit panel. I'm opening it into the edit panel. So let me stop sharing. Then I share with you the edit panel where uh, I want to edit the site. Bam, bam, and the website is already here. So my, my work is just to change some things here, right? You can look at this particular logo, go to style, and then you come and uh, change the size. I can take it to 20 or 60, make the logo appear small. And then, you see? So maybe if I want to change this particular image or this one, while Safari, so I can just change, go here, change that particular image to what I want. And I can, uh, maybe I want this image to be there. This is just for visiting. I can change the image. And if I want to change the text here, I can change. If I want to change the text here, I can change this. Is Orwa, Orwa Tua, Pareta, 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 and they say, okay. And when I want to preview to see how the website looks like, I can actually preview the changes that I do make. Let's see on how the changes have appeared in a new website. So let's look. All right. All right. Let me see how it has appeared. And then there I am. Actually, when it comes to P, the words that have changed and the wording that have changed. So this is how template works. This is exactly how template works. Now, where to buy a domain? I show you, I, I did ask you that I will share this one with you on how to buy a domain, and I will be using OIS to show us this. Actually, a domain. Remember, I mentioned you that you want to buy, so I'm logging into OIS, and I will be looking at uh, Orwa, for example, Orwa Tour. Maybe I want to buy a domain called Orwa Tour. Come, I will have to search if the name exists. Great, the name exists. So if the name exists, I will just select this particular one and then check out. This is just for example, when I check out, I will go for payment options and pay for it. So you need to actually buy a domain, your domain. So there is a, a tendency, maybe you have a business called um, mm, let's say uh, Google, google.com. If you attend to use google.com and you search it, it will tell you that this name is not available and I cannot use it because somebody else is using it. Google is using it. It has been bought here. So I can actually not use it. So I always encourage people to buy domain for their businesses. One day when you go to buy a domain for a business, you might get there and find out that somebody else bought the domain and is using it and you cannot use it. So there was a scenario of somebody who actually went and registered fb.com. When do I research around it? 
somebody registered at fb.com and uh, Facebook had to like uh, actually uh, have a business discussion with this person so that fb.com when you open it to be directed to facebook.com. So you need to actually secure your domain name early enough for them that are in digital launchpad so that you know exactly which domain you will be using. All right. So for e-commerce platforms, I also mentioned to us that I will be able to show you how you can uh, actually uh, uh, change your, your platform into an e-commerce. And I want us to uh, give you some tools here, e-commerce of the website that I'm creating. Let me that share with you in a while. Well, now you want to create an e-commerce platform. Yes, with plugins. So I have, uh, good. So this particular website that I'm creating already have uh, an e-commerce plugin. You can see it from here. So actually I could come and add products I put settings, let's add another product under rings. I can add a, a product here, maybe call it Oro a ring. Let me say new product, and I call it Oro a test ring, Oro a test ring. The price, maybe list price is 30,000. 30, oh, this in Tanzania shillings. So 30,000 and uh, Maybe final price is 25,000. And also, uh, I don't have a photo for any ring. Let me try to see if I can upload anything to represent a ring. Yes, I can upload that to represent the rings. And then, um, oh, too big. It's telling me that photo is too big. Let me find a ring somewhere in my in here, let me see if I can get some rings. Yes, okay. This is not a ring, but it can serve the purpose for now. So, or what test, and then I can just description is or a ring. Look at this. I just add the product and add them there or a rings. And then now let me take you to that particular website and see exactly what I've added to, to it. Let me take you to that particular website uh, to see what exactly I've done, the changes I've made to that particular website, how they appear. All right, let me share with you that segment of e-commerce because, all right, here we have, this is the website that I was changing, and uh, I was changing the part of rings. So when I click rings, let me see what products are we having under rings. And let me come, loading, loading. I'm looking for Orwa ring. Yes, Orwa test ring is here as a product. You can see it. Orwa test ring is here as a product, and uh, this is the price. I've created a promotion, kind of. So it is ready. And people are ready to buy it just in a few seconds. I can, if I want to see the details, I can click here to go and see the details. I can even add to cart. And once I add it to cart, I can check out, right? I can go to cart and be able to check out and, 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 and sell. So that is how easy the e-commerce platforms can be integrated for your business and be able to sell your products online. Okay, let's get back to what we are doing. So we were going, uh, having a discussion on how e-commerce plugins can actually help you. Let's proceed and where you, you can download e-commerce plugins. We have WooCommerce, EC Digital Downloads, and WP e-commerce. These are places that you can actually download e-commerce plugins. Remember, uh, actually, if you don't have the technical ability to do this, having knowledge, knowledge is based. Because you could go there and tell your developer that, hey, I want my website to be an e-commerce so that I may be able to sell online. So it is easier, but don't worry if this seems like a bit technical for you. Having the knowledge that you can turn your website into an e-commerce is a great point to start from, all right? So let's look at uh, uh, having created your website, you, you need to make it mobile friendly. 
and uh, I want to share something with you here so that you see what we mean by mobile friendly because websites are open in various platforms so let me share uh, the kind of website that I was just creating it was this one the e-commerce so I believe you can see it so this is the the PC version of the website but when somebody opens it from a mobile device it will have this look so the content should be able to vary you see even the arrangement of the product so your website should be mobile friendly because majority of people do open your website from a mobile device so if somebody happens to open your, your website from a mobile phone the the how the, the outlay should change so this is the mobile version on mobile you can see how the content is nicely presented yeah and this is the power of templates you don't need to like force things so you will have that your website well represented on mobile version and if you go to the website part of your website it it takes that particular shape so you need to ensure that uh, your particular website is mobile friendly so if a website is created for you try to open it on a pc and also try to open it from a mobile device right try to open it on a mobile uh, device and make sure that your website is mobile friendly uh, 2.4 billion people will be shopping worldwide and they do the shopping uh 21 million online shoppers across nigeria and south africa uh, as we speak did did their purchases online but of those people buying 50 percent of them are using their mobile phones to buy so you actually need to ensure that your website is mobile friendly uh, how to check the friendability of your website this will help you my moderator is posting this link to the chat box uh, this is a link that can help you test how friendly is your website on a mobile device how friendly is your website on a mobile device great so having looked at those technical terms and uh, looking on how to create an e-commerce platforms and make your website be a shop sell online get money let's talk to get some few questions from us before we jump into our final segment in which we are going to learn some more great things around social media all right oh great how do you secure domain when it is africa 118 that is working on your website oh great thanks so much home shop enterprises limited so if africa 118 will be working on your website and uh and uh, buying the domain for you uh, the things you need to uh, let them know that they will be buying that particular domain for you but you need to decide which kind of domain you want and uh, some of the security features that should come with your domain all right when you open your website there is always an error written on the light on the left like this website is not secure somewhere up up there at the corner there let me try if i can have a website that is not secure to just show you something great i have an example here uh, i'm sorry not for uh, this is only for example purposes i'm not like highlighting that this website is bad or they have not done enough but just to show you something the security features that you need to know for your website to have okay light let me share this screen with you ta -ta 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 -ta. just in a while great great so this is a website for a university i've just gone to tomb.ac.ke but it is telling me not secure so this will make your customers run away so ensure that you pick a domain and when you open your website they have ssl security features that protects your browsers you are the people that are visiting your website for example when i when i see this i will be running away it's not a secure connection what happens with these people steal my data but if you go to advanced options and then you say proceed you will be having uh the website loading yes it's here but <coughs> it is unsecure so uh, africa on net will be buying the domain on your behalf but ensure that when you open your website 
it have all the security features that will protect your customers so this knowledge should help you know what exactly you are you expect from them and how your website should look like you should have a nice website securely hosted somewhere and that communicates your businesses so i believe that one answers your questions all right can all these links be shared on whatsapp groups thanks jacqueline othoro exactly these links will be shared on your various whatsapp group just reach out to your digital account executive uh, they will share with you this particular link so that you'll be able to uh, get uh, whatever link that you didn't get so thanks guy keep bringing the question up we want to jump into our last segment and here we are going to talk about utilizing social media to drive sales this is something i know we have done in the past but a quick look at them and jogging our mind could actually bring something home maybe something fresh that you have never implemented so let's take it out and say how can social media benefit your business it doesn't matter the kind of business we're doing remember i shared about a pastor's fellowship i attended that i mentioned going online and it was like a bad thing and today they're using social media all right so it doesn't matter the kind of business we're doing the question is how can social media benefit your business we have several benefits that comes with it feel free to share with us the chat box there so that we get to learn from you some of the benefits that come with social media is that you can be able to reach new audiences when you use social media post and people can share your content people can like and other people can see your content outside there so social media can help you reach new audiences can help you create new opportunities how when you reach a new audience you can actually win the customers you can get people there who want to buy from you you can get people who can, are excited with the kind of services you're offering and that one is an opportunity is that one the right thing and when you put reach new audience and create opportunities together that means you are having increased sales right again and another thing you can add value to your brand sometimes back you you did find it's hard to communicate with some organization i don't want to mention examples but it, it was quite irritating for you to to call an organization and you are put on hold and um, some systems talking to you that your call will be forwarded somewhere but with social media today you can go to an organization social media platform ask a question and get answer when you do that for your particular business you will be raising customer service level start a new way conversation and again valuable customer insight take to know what they want how they want it and provide solution to them that one will add value to your brand then you can actually improve your marketing how with social media you can target people based on their gender geographical location you can target based on your recent buyers look alike audience and other metrics that you can consider so you can actually improve your marketing skills and marketing strategy for your customer uh, for your business using social media you can also build relationships and networks personally i'm on social media platforms sometimes there are conversations that are initiated with some people some person can put a bad comment on your business and before even going there to realize that there was a bad comment we just find that there are some people protecting you and defending you there all right because you have built some such a relationship you have served them well and they 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 can't like leave that one just go into soil by somebody saying something bad about your business so you can use social media to build relationship and network and another thing you can use social media to stay competitive and be on the top of the game how with social media while receiving insight from your customer they tell you this cloth is bad i need red color today we are not being served in this table this is the new trend you become on top of things so how do you set up your social media platform campaigns and uh, a successful one there's some steps that you need actually to follow and these particular steps the first thing you need to understand and know your audience know your business goal pick a platform that you want to use take your tone of voice and decide what will you count as a success having gone online right 
what will actually you count as a success when you go online. So let's take a look at each and one of these. When we look at the strategy for going using social media platforms, look at your audience. Where are they? What do they do when they are online? What are they interested in? All right? What influences them? Okay. When are they online? Are they in the morning or in the afternoon? So while you know your audience, you will be able to know actually uh, 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 where, where you can connect with them. All right? And then once you know them, your audience, you come up to ask yourself, with the audience that I have, and with my business goals, what can I do with my audience? That is business goal. What exactly do you want to do for this particular audience of mine in relation to or with reference to my business goals? Do you want to give better customer service? Do you want to grow your brand awareness? Do you want to generate more sales or get more people to visit your website? As everybody here will be having a website for them that are in digital launchpad, you can use social media to let people come to your website. You know, you can't put everything on a social media platform. Maybe you could promote uh, awareness today. And when people want to learn more about your business, you take them to your website. Tell them for more, visit my website. So you can actually uh, grow your brand awareness and generate more sales and get more people on your site. Those business goals, what exactly do you want to achieve? And then the next strategy is which platforms are your audience, target audience using? If they're using LinkedIn, why are you talking to them through Instagram? If they're using Instagram, why are you communicating to them through Twitter? And when they're using Twitter, why are you on YouTube? But while they are on YouTube, why should you talk to your audience that is on YouTube through Google My Business? But if they search you on Google My Business, why are you not there? Great. So choose the platform that you need to use to communicate with these people. My questions are at it, but they are going to help us build a social media strategy that is connecting with our clients. Another thing, consider your tonal of voice. When I mention tonal of voice, is how you speak to your customers. There is a way in which they should expect your response. Even if they shout, you should have a standard way of communicating to these people. And when we mention tonal of voice, it's not only the voice. It includes other aspects that could include the color of your organization, how you use your logos, the font colors that you use, all right? The do and don't, and the style of images, all right? Which kind of images do you post? When I go online, when I see a post from afar, I will exactly know that that one is from Google, that one is from Facebook, that one from is from maybe in uh, uh, any other business, say Safaricom, for example, or Voda, or Tigo, or Coca-Cola. For example, I will just know that particular post is from this particular business. So you need to look the style of, including the style of images that you actually use. And lastly, what you need to know, understand is what kindly do you consider as a success? You are online. So what will you consider success? Is it increase in page like? Is it increase in traffic to a website? Is it growing um, your sales? What exactly will you consider as a success? You need to put that one down because it will help you to evaluate the process of what you have done. A call for action. Everybody that is in digital launchpad, you need to have these strategies put right and your digital account uh, managers will help you come up with a strategy, implement it, measure it, and find out how it is working. And when you evaluate the processes against what you consider as a success, you will be making great decisions towards standing out using social media and making a better way to connect with your customer every time they want to hear from you. Great. Wonderful. So, which social media platform does your business use? We have several outside there. Twitter is one of them. So, Twitter is a good and a quick conversation on PR, and you can create a professional looking profile, add an image, uh, and it's a way for you to start conversation, ask questions, run polls, and connect with your clients. If you want to manage a, 
a segment of your target audience, maybe through PR. Twitter will be one of the ways to do that. Great. Any other platform that you know, guess it, guess it. Please get it at the chat box. Let's come, the guests come. Who gets it right? Boom. Facebook. Did you guess Facebook? All right. Fine. Facebook is a great tool that can help you connect with your customer. Remember 2.5 billion uh, uh, Facebook users are available on Facebook. Not even available, active on Facebook. 2.5 billion per month, in a month. We have 2.5 billion active users in a month. So you can use Facebook to link uh, uh, your website to your Facebook page so that when people come to your Facebook, they can actually go directly to your website, all right? You can add opening contact details, among others. You can even change call to action buttons like shop now, contact us, and use various images, including GIFs, short videos, and generate interest and shares from your clients. All right, so this is another tool you can use for your business. Do you want to run into indent on how to use Facebook pages and how to manage your business well? Please contact your digital account managers for this, they will help you. But again, we will be having other webinars that we will be having deeper discussion on how you can use social media platforms to grow your business online. All right, so let's get to the next social media platform that we know, Instagram. So the Instagram is a mother of visual. If actually you want to show people the part of your business with visions, great photos, Instagram is home of doing this. So Instagram is a place to draw people's attention with visuals, a place to share photos, videos, and anything from new products, and even the behind the scene activities that goes around your business. So this is a great way to do. Is your business in Instagram? If not, then you are missing out on something. Another one is LinkedIn. So LinkedIn is a great for recruitment, building professional networks, and connecting with peers. You can always create personal and company pages and even profile. LinkedIn is a greater way for you to professionally connect with other businesses. There is a lot of business in LinkedIn and therefore you can always get connection, partners with other businesses that are on LinkedIn. If you don't have any of your business in LinkedIn, this is a tool that actually you can try out. Great. Let me pause now for a while to check if you have some questions that are coming forward to be able for me to handle. All right, I can see conversation here. Benson Mawedu is sharing people with people here. Great. Benson, conversation going on. Thanks, guy. Thanks for uh, great questions. Can all these links be shared? Okay. Thanks that question I've seen. Our business has violated a domain in 2016 but did not renew the subscription, how do I get it back to build our website? Shazium M, a domain. Uh, cut, we had a, a connection lap a little bit, but we are back, sorry about that. So we have Shanice answer, asking this question. Our business has selected a domain in 2016, but did not renew the subscription, how do we get it back to build our business? Thanks, Shaziam, for this particular question. So actually, from if you don't renew your domain, it will take approximately 85 days and it becomes available for anybody to buy it online. So if it has taken 85 days, most probably that domain will be available for anybody to buy. The only thing you need to do, if you belong to digital uh, launchpad program, please reach out to your digital account executive and they will advise you on what to do. The first thing you could do, Shaziam M, you could go to uh, uh, whois.com, put the domain name, do the search, let me just present that one to you. If you need a, to use a domain, maybe 
if you want to use a domain and you feel like that domain is not available, you just go to UIS, for example, and uh, share your domain name here. Let's say, and you are in Digital Launchpad, uh, we will, Africa One and it will help you buy it and use it. For example, I can't use orwa.com. Somebody actually have registered domain orwa.com, so I can't use it. But if somebody had not registered it, I can actually be able to use it. Let me try orwa.net. Oh, it's not. Why orwas are not there? People have taken, is my name sweet? I don't know why. Let me try orwa.org as an option. Let's see. Orwa.org is also not available. What is happening with the name Orwa? So we look, uh, so shine. When you come to, uh, uh, for, for the case of Shazium, if you, you go to whois.com and you search for that domain and it tells you not available, meaning somebody else bought it and is using it. But when you search for it and you find it, it's available, you can, Africa on the net will be able to buy that domain for you in, cutted in the uh, courtesy of digital launchpad, so you can have your domain. For the purposes of everybody, maybe you are not in digital launchpad, if you want to use a domain, just go to uis.com, uh, key in your domain. It could be a .com, it could be a .org, it could be a .net. So let me now try hey, Orwa. Orwa is gone. Orwa, Orwa2. Let me say Orwa2.com. Okay. Maybe Orwa2.com will be available. Oh, God. I pray. Yes. So if you find indicated like available, and the price is there. So that means that domain is available and it can be bought. You can buy it yourself or Africana Net can help you within the program to have your domain back so that you can use it for your websites. Okay, so keep your questions coming. So let's keep your questions coming. Let me see if you have any other questions that I've not addressed. Great people. Okay. Oh, thanks, guys. So, uh, Shazam, I believe you answered. Okay, and I, I see uh, people, uh, some other comments are coming uh, forward. So, as we finish today's session, it's just a reminder. Remember, we have a great one-to-one -one mentoring avail uh, program available from Google. So, you can actually sign up, and our moderator is sharing this link with us. You can sign up so that you get mentorship program. And to them that uh, actually have attended, please ensure you, that uh, you fill the attendance sheet that is uh, done there. We'll be shared with our moderators. But uh, before we call it a day uh, and uh, end it up, we have something for you here. Great people joining us, all right? And my question will be, what is going to be your next steps? What is going to be your next steps after this particular session? So we want us we talk about next steps. Uh, Rosemary from Rwanda have just come, and I will be inviting her to come and say hi to us so that the people from Rwanda can actually uh, meet Margaret. Uh, sorry, I can meet Rosemary. We also have uh, Margaret joining us from uh, Tanzania. So as we ask you this question, what are going to be our next steps of this particular session? We have been learning how to build your brand and sell online. It will be great for you to come our next case study, when we learned that you actually turned your website into e-commerce, that you actually um, selling products online, that you actually have a presence, maybe in marketplaces or on, on, um, uh, uh, business directories or on social media platforms, all right? So uh, if you want more of these particular sessions, and uh, you can learn free online. Uh, our moderator is sharing this link with you that you can always go online, learn more, and get more insight from this particular session. And uh, in addition to that, just understand that we are much, much social, much, much social. So if there is anything that you have learned today, feel free to jump into our social media. Uh, we are on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Our moderator is sharing these particular links down there with us. 
So please tag us and let us know what you have learned. Have you learned something how to build your brand and sell online? Are you going to turn your website into an e-commerce? Are you going to uh, like uh, try to uh, go online through social media platforms? Are you creating maybe Google My Business so that you find yourself online? What exactly are you going to do after this? You can learn more online, but feel free to share with us on the social media. I'll be much glad to come and read your comments on the social media. What exactly you have learned today from our session? It was great to have you. So uh, ideally, I want to invite um, Rosemary. I don't know if Rosemary, are you there? So that you can come to be able to uh, say hi to us. Uh, Rosemary, uh, welcome. Uh, you are in Rwanda. We have businesses coming from Rwanda. So let us know. What's going on in Rwanda? And you can do in Rwanda so that we become part of us. Take it out, Rosemary. Thank you, Olwa. Well done. Good job. Um together to benefit in the Natwe Kuri program. Um Drahari Kubera Mebki. So I think that will be it. That will be it from me. Thank you, Arwa. Great. Thanks, Margaret, for that uh, 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 that wording from Rwanda. Uh, businesses from Rwanda, you are well covered. And if you have any issue that you need to be handled locally in Rwanda, we have Rosemary and the team there. They will help you to set up your website. They will help you to set up your Google My Business. They will help you actually to, to, to set up your social media accounts to be able to go online. Reach out to them in the Rwanda market. We have a great team there. Uh, in Dar es Salaam, Tanzania, we have Margaret uh, here with us. So Margaret, hi, how are you there? Hi, my camera. Apologies, my camera is bad, but um, I'm joining you from Tanzania and I'm going to Thank you so much, Margaret, for that particular word. So Margaret was joining us from Dar es Salaam, Tanzania. And Margaret uh, has a greater team in Tanzania that uh, all Tanzania businesses, if you have uh, issues, you need to be helped to go online. Margaret has a greater team in Tanzania because reach out, uh, at, uh, let them help you. But uh, also we are active on our social media platform. Feel free to talk to us, share something with us, ask us questions, and let us know how we can help each other. And uh, without much ado, I just want to say thank you so much, guys, for joining us. We have a lot in store for you next month. We will be diving deeper into learning Google Ads and also to be able to know how to can set up campaign for your businesses. So please prepare. The team will be reaching out to give you the dates. But next month, it's time for Google Ads. We will be learning how to go online and also carry out campaigns to using Google Ads and reach out to your audience. So we have much more in store for you. I cannot exhaust them all now, but thank you so much for joining our session of today. I was your lead trainer, Orwa Joseph, joining you from Dar es Salaam, Tanzania, being helped by a greater team on the chat box. That is Pius, who was joining us from Uganda, Benson Weru from Kenya, John was on the background from Kenya too, and also Margaret Billy from Dar es Salaam, Tanzania. I want just to say thank you. Let's connect locally in our WhatsApp groups. Let's discuss if there are questions you need to understand. We can take them offline and also online on our social media platform. Till we meet again next week and next month, I say bye.